What's up challengers, welcome to the gym, my name is Gym Leader Geo, and Wi-Fi Battles are back on the channel. I did a lot of work trying to get my, uh, my internet working on my DS again, I think it's working now, everything should be good, I've done a couple of test battles, I was able to drag them out for an hour till time and they all worked fine. So uh, we're going to bring it back and here we go, we got my first match back on the channel, it is also my first ever PU match and it's against Magnitude, creator of the GBA, current uh, coach of the uh, Milwaukee Sawsbucks. We're going to have a little pre-draft fun because we're going to be drafting pretty soon for the GBA. So let's get this battle started. Um, let's change this to music 9. I don't really remember the music so I don't always have them on. So um, let's do that. Actually, I kind of want to turn them on. Well, we'll decide that later. Uh, I'm going to bring my battle box and I'm going to show you guys what I brought, and then we're going to go over and see what Mag brought. So, we'll start off with what Mag brought. He is going to have the Gorgeist, Golduck, Girafferig, Emolga, Torkoal, and Golem. Man, I love PU so much. I brought Arby's the Arbok. He's a pretty standard coil set, very bulky. Uh, Papayap Berry to reduce that psychic damage. We've got Gaines Bro, who is a defensive Meganium. We've got T-Splitzy, the Licky Licky, he's kind of a support set. Relican, the, uh, the, my stealth rocker, the Relicanth. Uh, Luxray is Scarfed Guts, so we're going to hope that we can... I know normally with Guts Pokemon like that, you kind of want to give them an, uh, like a Flame War, but I didn't want to do that. I want to wait for him to status me, maybe with like the... Uh, I can predict a Willow from the Gorgeist or something. And then we've got Avalug. Uh, so this is really funny. We tried a lot of ways. We had some genning issues with some of these Pokemon. So uh, eventually three of them on I wanted to have on the team got switched out. We got new ones in. Who cares? Uh, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, I'm going to start with a Relican because I really just want to get... He doesn't. He has Torkoal as his spinner and Torkoal doesn't really want to take on Relican one-on-one. I don't think so. Let's start with that, and uh, let's see what he brought. Things I'm most worried about on his team. Oh, I should have written them down. That would have been really good. Let's see if I remember any of them. We've got uh, what do we have? What do we have? Emolga, Torkoal. Oh, he did lead with Torkoal. Emolga, Torkoal, uh, Golem, Golduck, Girafferig. Uh. I don't know if we'll remember the last one later. I guess it doesn't really matter that much right now. Uh, Relican. Uh, let's. I think he's gonna try and toxic. I'm gonna toxic him, and then I'm gonna go for. Uh, oh, he's gonna switch right out. He's having none of this. Blair's gonna come. Who's Blur? Blur, Blee. Blair's gonna come in. Okay. He's gonna frisk and see my Rocky helmet. I missed the toxic. What is up with toxic misses recently? Uh, so I guess he was predicting the uh, the water type attack. Obviously, I cannot stay in here and risk the uh, three times super effective grass move. Um, Gains broken come in, uh, but I can't do a whole lot. Uh, Giga Drain, Dragon Tail. I could just Dragon Tail the guy out, but I don't have rocks up yet. Um, what else? T Splitsy could come in. Luxury could come in predicting the burn. If I'm if I think he's gonna go for Willow. Um, and Luxray. My Luxray does have Ice Fang, so I could. Nah, this guy's gonna be too bulky for Luxray. I don't really want to do this right now. Let's bring in Gaines, bro. If he does opt to go for the Willow here, then I can uh, I can always aromatherapy it off. I can dragon tail this guy out. This is just a safe switch for me right now. Uh, he is going to go for the Willow, so I could have gone into, yeah, I could have gone into, um, to my Luxray there. I also could have stayed and gotten rocks up, that would have been nice. But I think the better move here, I don't need to worry that much about the burn right now. Let's go for the Dragon Tail, I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's going to withdraw straight away, so we're going to see who his counter is to this, uh, this gentleman. It's Torkoal, so he's going to want to get his rocks up, probably. So let's Dragon Tail him out. I miss again. <laughs> this is a great start. A really good start to the match. He's going to go for rocks here. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for rocks here. Does Avalug pack Earthquake? I did not pack Earthquake on this Avalug. I'm opting to run uh, Miracoat. So let's see. 
there really is no point in me staying in here. He's just gonna get his rocks up. Um, I can get rid of those later. For now, I should bring in Relican. Uh, we can exchange rocks. I can go for another Toxic and hopefully hit it this time. What's he opting for? He is gonna go for Stealth Rock. He just wants to get his rocks up. And uh, this time, you know what? I'm gonna get my rocks up too. Rather than play around, try and get a... He might be special, which I'm realizing could be a little bit of an issue. Yeah, he might be special. But I still think this is the right move to go for here. He is going to stay in. Maybe he's going for Rapid Spin. Or is he going for a Toxic of his own? No, he's going to go straight for the Lava Plume. Try and get that burn. That's a good move on his part. Um, but it does nothing to me. It's so resisted. My word. Um... Let's go for a Toxic. That'll put this guy on a timer. And then I can follow that up with some uh, Water-type moves. Or I can spam Stealth Rock while he spams Rapid Spin. I think he's going to Rapid Spin here. And he's going to Yawn. He's going to Yawn. Um, so he'll probably go for Rapid Spin here. I really don't think I'll do much, even with a Head Smash, which is super effective. Uh, also, so is the Waterfall. But I could get one attack off on him, then switch out to... No, I, I can't get the uh, aromatherapy off right now. That's not the right move for me. I can't switch into Avalug either, even though I know there's the Lava Plume there and I could totally take this guy out, but no, I, I, this is too risky. This is way too risky. Right now, T-Splitzy could come in. I can knock off this guy's item. I can Dragon Tail him out. T Splitzy's a safe switch in here. Let's bring in T Splitzy. T Splitzy hits the field. He's gonna go for Rapid Spin here. He's gotta go for Rapid Spin. Unless he double yawns, then he's a man. No, he goes for Rapid Spin. God, I love Torkoal. Torkoal is so great. Such a great Pokemon. So the lefties, uh, I'm going to get rid of those. I j I'm just feeling a knockoff right now. I really am. I don't really care who he goes into. He's he's not going to want to deal with the... Uh, he's not going to want to deal with the toxic damage racking up. I see him switching out here. Um, maybe into the Gorgeist predicting... He wouldn't predict it normally. He could. He could predict Belly Drum set and he could be freaking out right now. I don't think he saw my item. I am a citrus berry. I am packing citrus on this guy. Emolga. I'm gonna get rid of that scarf, bro. Get rid of that scarf. Get get it out of here. Expert belt. Okay. Okay, Emolga. Okay, little guy. <laughs> okay, um... I don't even know. So, well, okay. God, that did so much damage. I feel like he's just gonna Volt Switch. There's no point in me protecting to try and see what he's gonna go for here. I really want my rocks up. Gainsborough will resist, but there's all there's no way he's not packing an ice type coverage. Um, let's dragon tail this guy out of here. Let's dragon tail him out. He is gonna volt switch. I could have gone for a double knockoff there. Uh, that probably would have been a good move if I predicted the volt switch. But I also who am I? This will show me kind of who he has to answer this Licky Licky. This will really give me, um... This will give me a little bit. He is going to bring out Golduck. I'm not sure why Golduck. I'm not sure why Golduck. But we're going to Dragon Tail him out. That doesn't do much. Who is he bringing in? Emolga again. Let's, um... 
Let's wish, because I don't want this guy to... He's going to go for Thunder. He's going to stay in T-Bolt this time. And he's going to see that that does nerf him. Damn it, Citrus. I don't need you right now, Citrus. I just popped a wish. I think he's going to stay in T-Bolt again. Personally. But I don't want to Dragon Tail him out. I'm just going to go for a knockoff. I know it's not going to do much because he's lost his item already. He is going to stay in T-Bolt, but I don't want to... That's a crit. So he's going to see here that I'm really doing nothing, but he's also going to see that this is not a winning battle for him. Uh, I think he's going to Volt Switch this turn. So I'm going to go for a knockoff again. No, he's going to stay in. He's really going to stay in and do this. He's going to stay in. What does he want, a para? I'm going to go for the wish here. Oh, he's <laughs> He wanted... He wanted to get the para so that he could para flinch me with Imolga. Steve, you... This man. Um... Let's pop off a knockoff here. He's gonna switch back to T-Bolt. And, uh, and we're gonna take out this Emolga with T-Splitzy. I don't know why he didn't switch. I guess he was really scared of losing an item on another Mon. T-Splitzy's gonna be an issue for him. I, I really do think it is. Um, this set idea came from a, uh, a Smogun Rate My Team. Because a lot of T-Splitzy, uh... Just in general, Licky Licky really does threaten a lot of a lot of switches, so you can really take advantage of that with knockoff. I see this guy going for a rock polish here, and I don't think I'm gonna appreciate that. Let's get a knockoff first and a dragon tail second turn. That does nerfing. He has an assault vest. Okay. Oh, he's gonna go straight for the EQ. That's gonna do a lot, actually. Yeah, that hurts. Um that really does hurt. Uh, I don't want to stay in here. Risking that he switches up. I can go into Gaines, bro. Threaten him out with the, uh, with the Giga Drain there and resist. I gotta find a way to- I gotta make moves so that I can get Avalug in to get these rocks gone. Because they're gonna be an issue for me if I leave them up too much. Uh, the burn's gonna deal a good amount of this also. Golem- Golem is powerful. But, um, should be okay here. I think it's better to aromatherapy before I synthesis at this point. Um, no, it's better to go straight for the synthesis. There's no way he's staying in. He's got to switch here. I got to navigate back to getting Relicanth in. Unfortunately, Relicanth doesn't really like the Golem, doesn't really like the, um... Gold Duck. Pretty much the only safe thing you can come in on is the Torkoal. Uh, Giraffe Rig. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Um, Psychic is really gonna punish this guy. I don't know that I have a really. I don't know that I have a safe switch into Giraffe Rig to be honest. T Swifty or T Split T Swifty. Has the inspiration. T Splitsy might be able to take a hit, but there's no way I can I can take two by switching in. Arby's obviously can't take one. Um, what I could do here... There's no point in aromatherapying if I'm not worried, if I don't think I'm going to be able to stay in much longer against this guy. I am scared of the Calm Mind set. I'm going to Dragon Tail him out. He is the Calm Mind set. Okay. So by Dragon Tailing him out, I'm going to... I'm going to erase this potentially bring in a better setup for me that I can do so that I don't have to go- I don't want to go up against this right now. Uh, now is not the time for Giraffe Rig. I want to set up the stage more for my sweepers to set up. Um, Coil Arbok, where are you going to be best served? Because Golduck can probably have Psychic, Giraffe Rig can have Psychic. I do have the Papaya Berry, but that's not going to help me much. That'll give me one hit and I don't know that I can take them out with just one Gunk Shot. This guy's probably got... I feel like he's got an ice coverage move, but I kind of want to go for the Giga Drain anyway. 
I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain anyway. Now he is gonna switch straight out. Probably into the Gorgeist. No, back into Giraffe Rig. He wants this. He fully wants it. So there's the Sap Sipper. Um, I didn't. I guess. I guess I thought he would switch into uh, someone different. This time he's gonna go straight for Psychic. He's not gonna try set up on me. He's gonna go straight for Psychic. I really don't have a switch in. I gotta keep getting this guy out of here. I don't have a switch in for him. He's gonna go for Psychic. How much is that gonna do? That does a lot. So let's get him out again. I really need... I need a better matchup here. Okay, here's Torkoal. Maybe the Yawn... No, we can't Yawn. I'm... Duh. Because I'm... I'm burned and weak. Uh, he could just go straight for the Lava Plume here, try and take me out. I think that would be his best move, to be honest. Gaines Bro is kind of, The problem with Gaines Bro is that while I, he is a decent check to Golduck... Can I answer Golduck other ways? Luxray with the Scarf. I think I bring in Relican here. And I try and get my rocks up. Because I four times resist the fire move. Let's see. I don't see him going for Yawn. There's no point in rapid spinning. He already has rocks. I see the Lava Plume here. He does go for Lava Plume. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get the burn. If not, then I need to bring Games Bro back in. Okay, no burn this time. He might stick in and try and get it. Um, who else could he switch in? Last time he brought in the, the Gorgeist. Last time he brought in the Gorgeist. Let's go for a head smash here. Let's try and put some damage on this Torkoal. It would be nice to get the rocks up. He might predict that I'm going to go for an attack here. He did. Okay, so probably... Probably Gorgeist? Blair. That's a new. No, that's not new. I just forgot the name. <laughs> Brisk, and he sees the Rocky Helmet. As I go for a head smash. This should do a good amount to the Gorgeist. Man, that thing is bulky. So bulky. My word. Um... Could potentially, once again, go for the burn here. Avala could also come in and get these rocks out. The rocks are kind of... like My team's not weak to them, per se. He could double here. That wouldn't even be bad if he doubled, but I'm gonna go into games, bro. I actually don't really have a great way to take this guy out. Avalanche on, uh... I'm gonna take some rocks damage. If he goes for an attack here, the con he does go for Shatter Sneak. So that was a good prediction on his part, but... Gainsborough's kinda- Oh, I live? No, not after the burn in the, uh... Yeah. Not after all that. So that's... <laughs> the way that... Sometimes things on Wi-Fi really do take a long time, but that's okay. So, Gainsbro down. That's going to make Golduck a little bit harder. I have to hold on to... I have to hold on to Luxray to help with the Golduck. Gainsbro also would have been good against the Golem, but Relican also can probably handle him pretty pretty handedly. T-Split C could come in... No, because I no longer... This is a big issue. I no longer have access to... Aromatherapy. So, Blair can start spreading burns pretty handedly right now. So, I think my best bet, I could come in with Avalug. And rapid spin these. No, I don't. Now's not the time to do that. The best bet right now, I think, is Luxray and go for Ice Fang. Yeah, Luxray and go for Ice Fang. I'm not sure what he's gonna do necessarily with this um i am scarfed i am gonna i'm gonna click ice fang here he's gonna switch out right away uh, maybe Golduck if he really is a man no torkoal yeah he'll resist that 
Um, he's going to see, however... No, oh, what's he going to do here? Just Lava Plume, right? He's just going to Lava Plume again? Because I, I almost want him to burn me. Also, I don't really have a switch in to... I don't really have a Torkoal switching right now. I mean, every single time I switch into Relican, he's just going to switch right back into uh, into that monster, the Gorgas monster. I'm going to Ice Fang here predicting the double. No, he's going to stay in. Shoot. Yawn? No Lava Plume. Okay, net that burn. That would be nice. He does get the burn. Okay, that's what I needed. That's actually, so th that did work out okay because he got the burn. If I didn't take the burn, that would have been a little more damage than I'd have liked. Um, Luxray obviously is on a bit of a timer here. Let's bring Relican back in. Hopefully he doesn't see through this ploy. Um, I'd like him to go... Well, the burn spreading is going to be an issue right now. The Lava Plume burn spreading. Because I think he's going to go for it again just to try and take me out. Um, as he does. No burn. Okay. Still no burn. Torkoal is getting whittled slowly by this poison. And I think... I think... How badly do I need these rocks up? I think I need them up pretty badly so that I can bring a couple more of these uh, these still very... Oh, you know what? I definitely need them up for Emolga. Let's get rocks up right now. I think I'm going to see another, uh, another plume here. He is going to go for plume. But the Toxic is a losing battle for him. No burn. Still no burn. Good. So still no burn. Torkoal is getting really weakened by this Toxic damage. And now I should be safe to go for the Head Smash to take him out. As long as I don't miss it. That's the big issue here. Uh, I don't know that Waterfall will kill. Torkoal is really bulky. And this is not an offensive Relicant. So let's go for Head Smash here. Because I'm a man. And if he does go for Rapid Spin, he will take some Rocky Helmet damage. Which might not be good. Well, if I miss. Because he should go down to this. I think he'll go down to this. Okay, good. So, my rocks are up to stay. I still have Avalug at full health. He's got a very specially offensive-oriented team. And I brought a lot of physically defensive mons, which is kind of an issue. Uh, Giraffe Rig comes out. What do I still need this for, is the big question. Um, Emolga is now going to die on switch-in. Torkoal is dead. The water type against Golem would be okay. Would be nice. Um, actually, that'd be really nice. I'm not sure how else i take out Golem without this. But at the same time... T-Splitzy. What do I need T-Splitzy for? I don't really need T-Splitzy for anything. Let's switch in T-Splitzy. He's my specially, my specially defensive mom. Um, I know I can't take two Psychics. It's possible I could take a Calm-Minded Psychic. We'll see. He does opt to go straight for the Psychic. This should take T-Splitzy out. I think it will. It does. Okay. I think I could have played that a little bit better with her. We see Life Orb on the Giraffe Rig. Luxray should be able to come in here. Uh, Golem, Golduck. What do I have for both of those? Because the problem with Luxray is I can't just stay in forever. Uh, I could go for a Super Power. Giraffe Rig probably can't take it. Um, the problem is that, um, Gorgeist can. Gorgeist can definitely take it, obviously. And then I just, I'm forced to switch out again. So I would have to go for Ice Fang. 
I don't see that as being the best move here. Actually, yes, I do. That is definitely the best move here. Luxor's got to come in. He's got to pick up a kill here. He absolutely has to pick up a kill here. I take some pointed stones damage. Be nice if I had Volt Switch. Must be nice, Volt Switch. Must be nice. Um, Giraffery, I just want to check his stats because I'm still a little new to, to PU. 65 defense. That is nothing. And uh, I feel like Luxray... I feel like Luxray could take him out with an Ice Fang. I feel like he could. I think Ice Fang's the best move for me here. I will outspeed this guy. He's going to switch straight out, probably into the Gorgeist. I don't know that Gorgeist... No, Gollum. That's a good switch, too. Oh, God. That's so much damage. Um, I think... I think I'll live one more burn, but I won't live one more burn and rocks on re-entry. So it's got to be... It's got to be pop off another Ice Fang, try and take out this Golem. Oh, he has Sucker Punch. Good. I forgot about Sucker Punch. I should have thought that one through a little bit more. Um, Avalug can come in here and get rid of those rocks, which would be really nice. Is that what I want to do, though? If I come in with Avalug... Golem's probably got a Rock-type move for it, but I don't think he can two-hit KO Avalug. Now is my chance. I mean, Avalug really doesn't do much else here. Like I said, I have three physically defensive Mon against this guy. Um, there's no other way for him to bring in Rocks. Let's Rapid Spin this. No, he's going to switch. Oh, he's going to switch. Oh, he's going to switch into... No, he stayed in. And misses his stone edge. I can see uh, Mag's side of this. He's going to be flipping out. He's going to be so mad that he missed that rock, that uh, stone edge. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, let's see. I could recover up here. I don't think two stone edges is going to do it for him. And if, I, if he switches out, then I'll be at max health for the Sturdy. He's going to switch to the Earthquake. Maybe he predicted the switch out? I don't know why he did that. But that's going to put me at uh, that's gonna put me at max health, so now I'm Sturdy again. And now I'm, I can feel safe going for the Avalanche. Going second uh, is going to do a lot of damage. He might switch. No, I think he's just going to let the Golem go. He's going to go for the Stone Edge. Oh, if he missed that, that would have been so perfect. Man, that does so much damage. Golem is power. Unfortunately, without Sturdy, Avalug is really not that useful. He's really not. Um, the Giraffery could come in here and Psychic me, and I have just such pitiful, pitiful, pitiful special defense that Avalug will go down to that. I think Giraffery cleans up at this point. Um, Life Orb is the only... Thing here that would really be my bread and butter. Here's what I'm gonna do. It doesn't really make, you know, does it make sense? If he goes for Calm Mind, and I fail to kill with Avalon, well then why would more the point be? If I recover up to full health, and I'll survive one hit by Sturdy no matter what, and he might be thinking this is his chance to Calm Mind. But if he goes straight for an attack, Avalon dies. If he Calm Minds and then... No matter what, if he goes for an attack right now, Avalo dies. The question is whether or not he goes for Calm Mind, what would my best move have been? And I think Avalanche is what the best move would have been if he went for a Calm Mind. Because then I'll be at this amount of health, whereas if he goes for Calm Mind and attacks me, I'll be down at once. So yeah, let's go for an Avalanche here. He'll probably Psychic. He does Psychic. That'll take up Avalo for sure. There's no way I'm living that. I have such horrible special defense. Giraffe is a monster, man. Absolute monster. Um... We know Golem's dead. 
Amolga's dead on switching. Gorgeist is still fine. And doesn't really like Arby's. Relican cannot survive another hit. Relican is basically useless here. Um. Arby's can switch in, and I can go for the Sucker Punch. No, I should Coil, then I'll take one hit. I think Coil is the best move. I'm going to switch in Arby's here because I don't really have a choice. He might predict the Sucker Punch and switch out. I just want to make sure that I do have the correct berry on this guy. I need to make this sure. Um... Payapa. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the right berry, but let me <laughs> let me just check that just to make sure. Arbok. That is the right berry. Okay. Awesome. So I will not take much from this move at all. So I think the right move for me now is to set up my coil. Let's get a coil in here. He's gonna baton pass. I think he was predicting the sucker punch, but instead, I got him now. I got him now. Uh, what are we thinking? Golduck? Golduck comes in. Golduck probably also has psychic. So we'll get a coil. This is good. Good coil. Good coil is good. Get some extra attack, get some extra defense, maybe a little bit of accuracy. I like the way things are going right now. Um, <sighs> there's no way that Golduck is also a setup Golduck, right? I, I just don't see that being the case. Um, sorry, I need to... My Skype just crashed on me, so I'm going to open Skype again. I don't see him being a setup Golduck. I think Sucker Punch is probably my best play right now. I will be mad if I'm wrong, but let's do it anyway. Let's go for Sucker Punch here. Okay, good. So he was... Psy Shock. Ouch. That's gonna hit hard. Thanks to the berry. Good jobs. Good job, Arby's. He could switch here. And keep Golduck around. He could switch here. However, if it's Psy Shock, not Psychic, I could actually coil again and then go for a rest. Let's coil again. He's gonna sub. That was a pretty good move on his part, actually. But uh, the extra coil is gonna help me reduce the damage from his Psy Shock um, a good amount. And if I get enough out of this, I have two accuracy raises, so I shouldn't be missing anymore with my- I gotta get the sub gone, actually. This is too dangerous. I can't- I gotta hit it with the- hit him up with the gunk shot right now. He's gonna opt for Surf instead. That's gonna do a lot more damage. Oh god, that really did so much. We are at a turning point now. Because I think one more Surf will kill me, but I think he knows that. So he's going to set up a sub. He has enough HP to set up another sub, just barely. He's not going for Surf. He's not real. He is real! He went for Surf. That's going to take me out. Shoot, okay. That's the game then. That's too bad. I, I could have gone for the sucker punch there, and I think that meant I won the game. But I really didn't think I really didn't think he was gonna go for it. I thought he was gonna go for the sub there. 
That is too bad. Too bad, so sad. Okay, Relican comes in. Uh, I don't think I'll live a surf from this gentleman. Let's hit him up with the head smash. As he goes for the surf, and that will take me out because unfortunately being uh Oh, I lived that, but I won't live the psychic. I do land the head smash. The gold duck will go down. This will be a narrow uh... 2-0 in his favor since there's no way he's sacking Emolga right now. There's no way. He wants the numbers. He wants the numbers, baby. He's staying in. <laughs> I can't believe I brought three physically defensive Pokemon and he had zero. Zero physically defensive mom. That is ridiculous. Let's go over the waterfall here. So close. Oh, man. If I just, if I'd sucker punched, I would have taken that game. So he did the right play there. He did the right play. Um, what could I have done different? Yeah, I mean, I think it just came down to that one prediction. If, if I had sucker punched the, the surf, he would have gone down. But I really, I saw him going for the sub. Because for, for him, if he'd subbed there and I'd gone for sucker punch, then I would have had to... I had no choice but to try and take it out next time. Either way, that was a really fun match. Thank you, Magnitude. That was my first PU battle. Let me know in the comment section below how I did, guys. And let me know if you guys want to see more of the PU tier on my channel. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.